and competing. Absolutely, and that's why we're going to see a good set between these two players right here as we get into our grand finals. Sunfish come from loser side, ZD come from winners, and let's get right into it. Because by the way, Sunfish was the one who got ZD into this game. Like mm -hmm. ZD, like barely played before Sunfish was like, "Yo, bro, just play this, be my practice partner for a little bit." And like ZD, seems like he's taking that and running with it already in grand finals. Winner side, we could have a really banger of a set here, Sharpie. I just want to say in general, one of my favorite things about watching ZD play is watching the way that ZD actually utilizes that dive kick to kind of move around the opponent character. Very frequently, we're not actually seeing uh, ZD go to necessarily connect with them. ZD is actually using that to approach the ground prior and then wave dashing immediately to get underneath them. And, and that's one of my favorite techniques. I don't frequently see it side of platform fighters. I very frequently see it as side of traditional fighters. And it's what we so lovingly inside the Skullgirls community call a a cross under, a uh, very dangerous move, very, very dangerous move to see. Um, and of course, we see the Batman doing it. Yeah, although I also have to shout the um, counterplay that Sunfish already established. Nice Ooh, rocket right beautiful there. Beautiful play there. But established some counterplay right there, um, actually using the rocket to kind of cover behind him. So when ZD does do that dive kick, there's a hitbox there in waiting. We saw a little bit in the uh, previous stock, and I'm excited to see what happens or how that setup will kind of evolve later on. Mm hmm. Very, very nice use of pan work there by Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is at 90%, but does have to be careful every single time ZD has come in. There has been a ridiculous, immense amount of damage going out onto Sunfish. And so I think at this game, Sunfish is just absolutely guarding that Tom with their life. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, actually, big opportunity right there for both players. Oh, this could be bad, but... Who oh, no, 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 didn't touch the ground? Did not touch the stage again to recover that jump. You could even see it in Sunfish's face. Just, oh, no, just a little bit too sloppy right there. And ZD will take that from you. Uh, ultimately, even though ZD is at 112%, that's a very slippery Batman that Tom and Jerry is going to have to work very hard to get out. And it's a keep out game for sure. Azidi's not playing like he's at 117% right now, let me tell you. Yeah, love that for him. You know, keep your foot on the gas pedal sometimes. And okay, because when you find those hits, you can make your opponent really feel it. Mm -hmm, oh, but mm -hmm. actually the neutral area from uh, Tom, or actually that's forward air right there, I think, uh, coming through and beating out that hitbox and battering, coming through, uh, it's going to get destroyed pretty much instantly. Nice work right there from uh, Ooh, Sunfish, but oh, this is scary for both players right now, Sharpie. Mm -hmm. Very, very much so. Literally one rocket away from a knockout ZD is, and Sunfish understands that. One more confirmed, this could be the link right there. Wasn't quite, it got Ooh. grappled and immediately weakened. One down air is going to make it. We got a dive kick instead. Get the platform, <gasps> oh, and that victory. fishing hook secures Sunfish the very first round inside of this grand finals. That was intense, J Dog. That was intense. This is a local? Yeah. Yeah. These guys know how to bring the fire. And also, Sunfish, for all intents and purposes, was screwed on the mm -hmm. right side of the stage right there, okay? Mm -hmm. Had five stacks of weekend, had a battering coming at them. If they had fast fell or just tried to recover normally, I don't think they were making it back. But instead, finding an opportunity to get the finish and actually using the um, tennis racket as a reflector. I forgot that's the quality of it. So if you reflect Batman's tent or not tennis racket, reflect the battering, you can actually catch it and use it as your own for a fair while. And it makes Batman's life so much harder. So. Sunfish using every advantage that he can find in this matchup. ZD just delivering the hands, feet like FedEx, and actually almost getting the finish. This dive kick is the MVP of this round right here because it secures, it secured the stock, huh? Okay, ZD drawing the first uh, sock right there and Sunfish playing so far from behind right now. Ooh, very, very nice clean play there by Tom and Jerry. Wasn't able to get to ZD before that grappling hit connected, so ZD was able to recover without very much trauma to that HP. Yeah, I mean, right now, 104. Actually, okay, Frying Pan, if you get hit by like maybe one or two moves beforehand, it'll probably start finishing off Batman like around 130-ish. So yeah, that's For sure. functionally two, two Jerry shots or so. Yep, there we go. At, at this point, I almost feel as though ZD is just expecting to not have to necessarily worry about Jerry setups. It almost appears as though ZD is playing, expecting Jerry Ooh. setups. Wow. Yo! Wow. Not the taunty. Love. Not the taunt. <laughs> not you taunting. I almost want to go replay and see some fish's face. I looked away for a second because I was in disbelief. 
Oh, actually, this is a really bad angle. But using the stall in the up air and both of them are playing a really dangerous game right now. I don't know if I'd like to be off stage too much against the massive down air of that cast iron skiller right there. But five sacks a weekend. Now you have a little bit of real estate to play around with. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. A lot of fishing poles going through. Batarang immediately kicked off by a tennis ball. Yeah, and it, it almost feels like ZD is just trying to figure out the best way to approach here. Unfortunately, Jerry did meet Batman inside that smoke screen. Grappling hook to go ahead and come back down with no diving kick. Just kind of playing the keep away game from Tom and Jerry right now, which is all Tom and Jerry needed to go ahead and get set it up. Ooh, that's a dangerous situation to be in right now for that's Batman. I am not in any way, shape, or form envious of him. Yeah, but ZD manages to slip right through and uh, kind of start to build up some sort of presence. Gets the weakened sacks, almost finds conversion off that. That up air would have been sick because it would have confirmed to an up special. Actually using the grapple straight up to kind of get out of that situation right there. ZD getting a bit creative, but might be too little too late because one or two more hits and the counter. Wow, is expecting the grapple setup. That's what happens. Now one more win. We'll go ahead and reset this bracket for Sunfish. And I think Sunfish is very, very comfy with the way that that last set went. Yeah, he looks completely comfortable, willing to just kind of run it back and do it again. Uh, that was some clean play. And when Sunfish is warmed up, this is looking like an entirely different player right now. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We might get to see a bit more of it off the bracket reset. We still got one more game on this set before uh, Sunfish can claim that title of the one to defeat ZD and lose or winner side. And oh my God! That was, I believe, a sub 10% knockout on Tom and Jerry by ZD's Batman. When people say practice your combos, I believe that is what they were referring to, J Dog. Mm -hmm. Yep, you gotta hit the lab and you gotta have those unlocked because when you're playing against a character like this, especially, it just takes one hit. You need to uh, take full advantage of that because you don't know when you're gonna get another one. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh man, now I, I would be somewhat careful with future grappling hooks because as we saw inside the very last match, Sunfish is doing a really good job of basically counterplaying against that gra grappling hook whenever it does actually connect on Tom. And I don't know if that's the play here, especially with the amount of dodge that we've seen uh, Tom utilize every single time grappling ha hook actually happens. That's the very first time we saw a grappling hook actually connect onto Tom. But without dodge meter, Tom's a little bit more likely to be hit by them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you have to play back and just get some hits out there because, yeah, as you said, no dodge meter is a bad place to be. Very, very bad place to be. So now the rocket's starting to come out, finds the hit. I was actually worried that you'd find a way to combo into the rocket right there, but ZD... It was, it, it was weird. Yeah, but ZD, despite the fact that you, you know, pretty much one-touched your opponent before, is on the verge of losing this stock, and Sunfish is looking very healthy right now. Okay, okay, beautiful. Beautiful position right now for Sunfish to be in. Really only needs to get like possibly one up air or one down air onto Batman to secure it. A rocket will also do amazing work right now in securing a knockout. Just needs one. Uh, tries to cover the lower angle, force him to recover high and just get tagged later on. But ZD throws out some hitboxes as well. The rocket, yeah, you're going to find Sends him flying. Batman. Sends him flying. Unfortunately, grapple back up. Ah. Oh, Batman does not choose to recover back up. Just goes ahead and slides down to that blast zone. Securing Sunfish, one knockout inside this matchup. Now, each player does have a knockout. The very next one will secure either one of them victory. Very precarious situation for Sunfish to exist in. Absolutely. But, I mean, despite the fact that... Oh, wait, this could be bad. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. ZD able to make recovery, but yeah. All that considered, Sunfish, like, pretty much lost his stock instantly as soon as the game round started. So the mm -hmm. fact that it's even even a slight lead right now doesn't bode well for ZD especially, because now you're getting juggled, you're getting mixed, and you're burning resources trying to land. Gets an up air for one stock of Wheaton. Oh, okay. Actually, Oof. Sunfish almost recognizes the situation, finds Spike himself. Great play. From both of them staying a lot, or staying well for now. Whoa! Very nice dive kick there by ZD. Literally clinical literally expected, literally labbed 
out right there. ZD secures that very first victory inside of this matchup. Now, Sunfish is up right now with two wins. ZD putting themselves back inside of this game with another win means that there's a chance that this grand finals reset may not necessarily happen. It's looking a lot less lightly right now. You were talking about Sunfish getting warmed up, getting set up, playing a completely different game at the start of the set. Is this the start of something else? It very well might be. It very well might be. Oh, looks like... Okay, maybe a bit of stage. Button check, button check, button check, I believe. Button check. Yep, yep. yep. Button check in game four Victory! feels like BM if you were the one who just won a game. Like, but is yo, your right? But is your, is your right, right as a player? It is, it is, your, is right. your right. You gotta know your player rights. Gotta know what your player union says you are allowed to be out here doing. And that is a button check. Yep. Uh, so, Sharpie, um, they are attorney for hire. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you have rights? <laughs> <laughs> gotta know them. Gotta know them. Gotta know them. <laughs> now, as we go into this very next match right now, this win would possibly reset the bracket for Sunfish or make a reset less likely if ZD were able to secure it. We can already see a lot of aggression going out from ZD, saying that they want a repeat of that very last match that happened, the immediate knockout on Tom and Jerry, just literal bread and butter-esque combos coming out from Batman. Mm -hmm. Oh, and every time I see a reflector come out, I still get surprised, but it's such a powerful tool in this matchup, and okay, ZD finding a little bit of a string off the bomb, not able to get too much more off of it because the platforms on Trophy's Edge, and Jerry's all the way on the other side of the stage. Yeah, Sunfish has to get over there just to kind of find your furry friend and kind of regain that stage control and presence that comes with you. Very, very nice, very, very nice projectile game here so far from Sun. Fish, even though they are unfortunately seeing a little bit of damage from Batman getting in against Tom, uh, Jerry's doing quite a bit of work as soon as those bottles come back up, and I think Sunfish is totally comfortable with that. Sunfish is totally comfortable with the game that Jerry's getting started and set up with. Yep, yep. Oh, and finds that rocket to the face. Your sense so far off stage, missing the tennis ball though. And now, oh my gosh, that rocket was almost absolutely Nostradamus like. Mm. But big opportunity for Sunfish, good D or ZD, good DI away to avoid the up special. Oh no, this is not great for either player right now. Mm -mm. That was incredibly dangerous. That was incredibly dangerous from both. One down air would have secured, unfortunately, a knockout on ZD, and one up air onto ZD from Sunfish would have been a knockout in Sunfish's favor. And that side air, what is with these BM taunts here? <laughs> they're homies, they're homies. They're all <laughs> the time. Yeah, both of them good friends for a long time in the scene. So all fun and games, but when it comes to like these interactions, when it comes to like them hitting each other, that's where the fun stops. Cause I know that both these players are so competitive. They both want to win. Now Sunfish is only one knockout away right now from resetting the bracket here and ZD really wants to deny that bracket reset. You can tell with the, the patience at which he's approaching there, really being very careful about making sure none of these projectiles touch. Hmm. Yeah, you can't afford to really walk that razor's edge for too much longer. Like, you kind of want to finish your play, especially from one side. Hey, yo, if that dynamite didn't connect, I feel like we would have saw some nasty stuff. No, it, that was almost death, honestly, for Tom and Jerry there. We saw Batman starting up these loops. We were both 100% positive what was going to happen if they hadn't been able to get out of that. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been huge, but Sunfish, you know, since they had another chance to uh, play the game right there, is looking to make the most of it and looking to just make sure that ZD cannot play at all. Oh, the grab hook connects, but okay, serve, love, 15, and not having the time to really set up that tennis racket again right there. And that down air is going to be pretty huge. You have to go get your Jerry and finds that uh, tennis racket. Here we go. Jerry, between Tom and Jerry, you're between a rock and a hard place right there. As sure. Sunfish starts to go down there. Oh, don't play with your food, though. This is scary. Very, very dangerous situation right now. Ooh, 111% just dive kicking. That rocket had an opportunity to connect. One more up arrow would have secured that bat bomb is on there. Isn't able to confirm off of that bat bomb explosion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, grappling hook immediately getting interrupted by that Jerry. Yo, ZD's avoidance of these projectiles has mm. been amazing. It's so yeah, hard to get him locked down. And with a full dodge meter as well, it means that he has plenty of leeways to um, dodge if needed. So he's looking to kind of play the slow game, gets the grapple, trying to get the battering, watch out for the way back. Yeah, smart yeah. by some pitches to run to the other side. Really interesting that the last 
four Batarangs actually have not connected on Tom and Jerry at all. And these last couple of grappling hooks also haven't been super great either. Maybe he'll be able to get that conversion off of it. Very low dodge meter right now for Tom and Jerry. An incredibly dangerous situation. Literally only has one more dodge to speak of. Oh my gosh, that fishing hook was pixels away and finds that. Whoa. And we're gonna find ourselves Whoa. a game five situation. ZD, Ooh. just barely enough. Just, if that was one damage lower, I don't think that would have gotten the finish right there, Sharpie. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That was a situation where both characters and both players were inside of literal paramount situations. Literally one connection would have finished it for either one of them. And what we saw was ZD kind of unlock that Super Saiyan mode and go into their Ultra Instinct. Absolutely unlock that final gate of Chakra and see what they needed to see with those demon eyes. You feel me? I feel you, I feel you. And that's a testament to just kind of what Z does in Ultimate and in Multiverse as well. We've created a monster out here in MD, but one that I'm happy that we have because this is a strong player on the six in several different games here. Mm -hmm. right. So game number five, whoever or if ZD wins this, we got ourselves a victor for today. If Sunfish wins this, we got ourselves a bracket reset. I got my air horn ready if need be. Let's see if we're gonna need it today. It will be very interesting. I believe it would be the very first time inside of Multiverse's history that we will have had a reset at a local level at this event. So let's see if Sunfish does actually make history or if ZD blocks that history from being made and moving forward as one of our new weekly champions for Multiverses. All right, and I know the other player will not make it easy right now. So. Absolutely not at all. You can see ZD already going in with a grapple hook. One more up smash would have secured it. Unfortunately, dodged through that grappling hook, so Sunfish was able to go ahead and fall back down. You can just see ZD's trying to stay on him, stay sticky, and keep this Jerry from approaching, or this Tom Forum approaching here, just very properly edge guarding against the approach game. Has to respect that fishing pole, though. Ooh, and big string right there from ZD right there, though. Yeah, that like, was huge. Yeah, so now 88 damage on the side of Tom, and now you have to play through that smoke cloud just to... Wait, what are we doing down here? This is a scary game, but you have Jerry there to cover you, so it might be some sort of bait. Yeah, playing with Jerry when you are in a 1v1 situation is almost like literally playing a 2v1 situation sometimes, especially when you have bottle proc already ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a la Ice Climbers or Detether Luma and Smash Ultimate. Like, <laughs> it's so scary to kind of be in between those two characters. And you can tell right now, Batman is waiting for that bomb to go off before they approach. Whoa! Wasn't able to get to the rocket. Yeah, That very first knockout does go over to Sunfish. One more knockout in Sunfish's favor will secure them a reset, but at 100%? It's really looking like it may be a very strong ring out situation here Yo, for ZD. Z that up smash could have connected. That down smash did. And now we are literally one ring out away, either from a grand finals reset or a grand finals finale, j Dog. It all comes down to this. And oh man, I didn't even see what hit him, but I did see that ZD's taking a ton of damage right here. And not even their own battering can really save them. Looking for one tether, finds it. Big opportunity right here. You can get this edge guard, but there's just so many shenanigans on the stage that ZD does not want to mess with. It's going to take your jab combo. Oh wait, finds a snipe on there. And oh my gosh, actually scoops him up with the up smash. Now both of them playing with so much fire to them. Five stacks a week, and there's a huge opportunity to make a comeback happen. Going to find two grapples, almost finds a side air. And now Sunfish able to survive, just air dodging back on the stage. And now d that Jerry, get some space back. Let's take a breather. Yo, ZD is in such a precarious situation. Oh my goodness. You do not want to let him up smash like that. Just a lot of tennis rackets coming out. So much dynamite. Goes ahead and throws Jerry across there. Tries to cover up with another projectile. And an up smash does not necessarily connect. That is because of the attack decay. Jerry is going to go ahead and set up. We do have two bottles to worry about. One has already been blasted. Yet another oh one goes God. through. Battle rank thrown of his own accord, of his own utility bet. Yeah, hate to see it. And Medjin to dodge through that down air, which would have absolutely gotten the finish right there. Oh my gosh, in the grapple! He's up there, but still able to make it through. Dodge through the reflective battering. And now it's the cheese at the center of the stage. You have to get through that. You have to get the Jerry oh! shot. And we oh! got it. We got it. Sunfish gets the finish and brings us through to the bracket r -r reset. Oh my oh God, what a way my to finish. Gosh. <laughs> what a way to finish. What a reset. What a reset indeed. I 
you can see it in Sunfish's face right here. That is astounding. Congratulations to Sunfish, Sunfish, who did the unthinkable not ZD into losers inside of a sudden death situation. Now, obviously, this is going to be an incredibly uphill battle because now Sunfish has to do it again. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of just watching it. <laughs> like, to bring another set to the table, especially if it goes the distance, goes to a game five, both these players have to be feeling it. And this isn't even like, you know, the smash bracket as well. Like, they have a whole other bracket to play through potentially. This is going to be a long, long night for both eight. these players. Yep. But yeah, definitely a fun one to watch and commentate, that's for sure. For sure, and I do not envy whoever has to commentate Smash, but I'm very lucky to be commentating Multiverses right now in this match between these two Multiverses Goliaths. Fantastic coverage there by that Tom and Jerry on that edge guard there without even having to leave the edge, and I really think that's something that Tom and Jerry excels at. Their projectile game allows them so much coverage on every single area of the map that we've seen just right now inside of these moments. Yeah, I mean, when Jerry's out, you cannot be there. I mean, as you saw, yeah, right there, you couldn't even grapple through. Like, even that small window, there was already a projectile ready and waiting for you to come through. And Jerry with the little popping bottles, I love that. Just always making sure that your opponent um, has something to think about on screen and just wearing down that mental stack bit by bit. Beautiful up air there. You know, I'm not seeing as many down air conversions as I'm seeing early inside this bracket by ZD, and I can't help but wonder. Oh, 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 oh. Got a little bit too comfy. Got a little bit too comfy. Sliding down that, sliding down that stage. Yeah, and something especially sneaky there is like because he was standing still, um, you actually couldn't even see where he was in the smoke until it was just a little bit too late. So, like high IQ plays coming through for Sunfish right there in this bracket reset. Sunfish is very much so a just kind of wait and see type of player, and I, I, I really do enjoy watching it. Yeah, yeah, he's a thrill to watch. It's also a thrill to see how ZD will approach and get through there. Actually, going through the dead zone on the um, ping pong paddle right there. Okay, and now 113 damage. Uh, you are definitely on borrowed time right here for this stock. Just one up, or one up smash or one down air should be enough to do it. Sunfish knows that though, so it's not trying to get hit by either of those. Or excuse me, ZD knows that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, Fishing Pool does come out. ZD does go ahead and try to punish it right there. Gets the fantastic dive kick into the Blast Zone to secure that wonderful conversion there into the Batarang. Wasn't able to convert off of the explosion, but did get quite a bit of damage on that very last combo. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Looking for an up air for one more sack of weed weekend just to make sure it stays on for as long as possible. The up ground up is just coming through, covering a lot of space. And now the dynamite, the fishing rod, and actually just rolling through and just punching the cat in the face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking for the dive kick. Not gonna quite find it. And now the rocket coming through. Big opportunity for both players to make some big plays right here. Here comes the tennis ball. No, a juke. Tried to uh, bait out something and make sure ZD got hit by that. But now ZD's just getting tagged, nickeled, and dimed. But once you get that one hit, I mean, we're just one up special way from the top. You read the jump. Good okay, dodge is okay. coming through. <gasps> Whoa, that snipe! This is bad, this is bad. But Sunfish not recognizing that in time, but finds the fishing rod. And you know what? They say the early bird gets the worm, but it looks like the early cat gets the bat this time around. Amazing work right there from Sun. I just, I still can't get over the fact that they each taunt each other after every single knockout round in. I cannot get over that because it's only on Sunfish's side. ZD has not done it yet. It's exclusively a Sunfish thing, and it's just so hilarious to watch. Mm -hmm. It's a friendly thing. Just one friend is teasing. It's, I don't know. These guys are fun. <laughs> Sunfish especially. But we got ourselves this game number two, and looks like we're probably going to be sticking to Trophy's Edge for the remainder of the set. I mean, we played it all last five games. We'll probably see a fair few more as time goes on. For sure. Uh, this fishing hook's just doing so much work inside of this bracket today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's interesting because we didn't really see a lot of it in the first set between these two, but mm -hmm. as time goes on, Z's looking more comfortable on the platforms, and the fishing rod is just a risk-free way to cover that uh, landing zone, because especially if you hit the sweet spot and pull it up right as they land, it covers pretty much the whole platform, especially on Batman. I've also noticed that uh, 
that specifically Sunfish has started using it to challenge a lot more of Sunfish of ZD's uh, approaches, and it has actually been deterring ZD from approaching using Grappling Hook very, very frequently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, with Grappling Hook kind of off the table, it just gets so much harder to approach because Batman, although has one of the fastest walk speeds in the game, like Oof. is one. That's of crazy. Players. That up air that Sunfish did to try to recover there is actually what knocked them out. It wasn't actually an up air from ZD. Interesting. Wild. Man, there's so many interactions in this game, but that up air, I mean, easy come, easy go, a little handshake, a little cordialness between the cat and mouse, but they're going right back to scrapping and to this um, final stock of this game. I love watching Sunfish play. I love that so, so much. So enjoyable to just see inside of a competitive environment. Just yet again, another test to note that not everything has to be incredibly serious when you're playing to be fun. And I, you love seeing it on their face. Yep, yep, yep. Two guys are here for a great time, and looks like Sunfish is having a great time just setting up that line of scrimmage again. Oh, watch out for the tennis ball. And here comes some cheese, uh, just more zones, and ZD is looking a little bit lost on how to get in, especially like when Batarang comes out, sometimes they'll just throw it around as a loop just to, you know, keep Sunfish guessing on one hand, but also looking like he doesn't have an avenue to get it in without being reflected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm very interested. See, yet again, that grappling hook just discouraging ZD from approaching certain ways. It's almost like Sunfish has ultimately understood what ZD is most likely to do and started responding to that instead of trying to fish to see what will happen. Mm -hmm. See what I did there? Fish, I do. And also his name is Sunfish. <laughs> A plus, A plus, 10 thank out of 10. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Everyone has always told me the best jokes need to be explained, so I just wanted to make sure I explained it right now in commentary to you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> right now, why we want an explanation on how these two can close out this game 111%. I mean, I think it might be a down air. Oh, that popping bottles coming through and buying some space, but Batman has the air acceleration. Oh, no! Wow! You're no, you're wow. no, you're not. No, you're not. You're Sunfish. Done. Sunfish. Yeah, you don't got to taunt you when you finish it like that. You know what I mean? You don't got to do it. Uh, uh, you know he's got to. You know Sunfish he's going up 2-0 inside of this grand finals reset, making me start to question as to whether or not, because I want to be very candid with chat right now. These matches are close. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very close set. These are two very talented players who, as you've stated several times over, j Dog, understand each other at a fundamental level, and it is definitely showcasing inside of this game. Yep. Both play with each other a lot in Smash and Multiverses, and they're both good friends, hang out with each other a lot outside of the game, and it comes through, and these are the types of matches I love seeing the most because, I mean, although it's all fun and games, you know some pride's on the line on top of the money. I'm interested to see what ZD's response will be to all of this very oppressive uh, ammunition game that Sunfish is putting out here with Tom and Jerry right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's looking like that answer seems to be get hit for the moment because the grappling hook's not finding anything. Again, the rocket counter and that tennis ball racket or that tennis ball was going to bounce off the ground. So good on ZD taking the opportunity to get in. And dude, Sunfish just has an answer to everything ZD's doing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, unfortunately missed that conversion on the tennis ball setup there. And, you know, if I had to count the number of knockouts that Sunfish has gotten off of Jerry's bottle caps, it almost feels like we're playing Fallout, Fallout 4 with how serious and how incredibly expensive and valuable these bottle caps are, you know? Yeah, the bottle caps and the rockets have been just the name of the game, like both those times. And what? It's like ZD, ZD's done. ZD's like, okay, okay, yeah. okay. ZD's okay. like, I still got okay. a Smash Bracket to play through. It's 10 already. <laughs> so let's let's GG go next. And you know what? Sunfish was looking so dominant. It looks like he wanted it more. I think ZD could have brought it back, but when you have a stamina conserve for another bracket, I get it. I get it. I do. You got, you got do. other places to be. Yo, respect, so. respect to both players, obviously. Very, very talented. Uh, everyone inside the bracket here, I feel, performed so incredibly well, and it d was a fantastic showing. I have to give my personal MVP choice to Sunfish just for the general expressions that I saw, the, the hunger inside of the game. 
obviously mm -hmm. the adaptation, the amount of conditioning that I saw. Uh, as, as everyone has told me previously inside of multiple games, it's a great IFC Ice has said, don't be going into these matches without your shampoo and conditioner. All right, mm -hmm. and Sunfish brought both.